Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with... Brad. And the Critters. I was going to show you Charlie, but I don't want to because cause Brad doesn't want to be on camera right this moment. So, um, I'll show you him later. Anyway, yes, as you notice, I colored my hairs last night. I decided I needed to get out. I was in a little bit of a funk. And I decided... I'm only 56, so I'm going to go ahead and color my hair again. So I did. I like to use the Nutris and, um, because I like its formula, and I like it uses avocado oil and stuff, so um, not a paid sponsor. So um, I used uh, that last night, and uh, Brad pointed out a few areas that I needed to to get a little bit more on and uh, just did it. So anyway, I know I haven't made a video in a few days. Um, we've been busy. We've been busy kind of getting this house more together and stuff. You hear Brad kind of moving some stuff around. Um, and um, we got the kitchen table in, in the kitchen and um, uh, got stuff moved around. I got last of the boxes out there for now that are out there unloaded last night. And we just been busy. Getting ready for the holidays, don't you know? Uh-huh. I am done with my Christmas shopping. Sorry. And I will say I did not go into any physical store to purchase any of them. I did it all online, which is how I roll, <laughs> how we roll, right, hun? Um, and, but I even have all the stocking stuff done. Can I make a comment on that? Yes. I spent 40 years working storefront retail. Mm -hmm. And um, I am just to a point where I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, you didn't yeah. want to, you didn't want to mess in stores. Yeah. Once in a while, like once every three months or so, we'll go into like a store, into like a Walmart or something. Mainly because I like to look around a little bit, but other than that, no, not really. Yeah. Um, just don't feel the need to. So, um, and I like, the reason I like online shopping is this. I like to have three or four windows minimum open on my computer. Um, I like to be able to price compare like Walmart, maybe Best Buy, maybe Lowe's, depending on what we're looking for. Like when we're looking for the ring doorbell um, thing, we compared Lowe's, Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon, Amazon. Um, and I don't have to fight other people being around me. I don't have to feel like it's a big panic to grab something because maybe it's the last one on the shelf. Huh. I can just take my time. And I like that because I can really sit and think. And if I'm really not sure, I can just close all the windows and say, I'm going to think about it overnight. And I'll revisit that tomorrow. And I do that quite a bit. I will have Amazon carts full of stuff. And then not buy any of it. You know, we've bought quite a bit of stuff lately because we've been, you know, furnishing. Up this place. Yeah, a new home, a new start. Um, so, yeah been that. Though it that's greatly slowed down and you know now that we have Christmas stuff bought and coming in, then it'll slow way down now. Um so we've been working on that. Um we've been working on um we've decided that we're gonna do separate bedrooms because um we're getting kind of separate um, sleep patterns. 
And, you know, you still have to be individual people, even though, you know, we've been married for 32 years. But you still have to be some separate people. Now, now, what if Mr. Heidi wants to stay awake super late at night? And maybe he wants to sleep in in the morning. And maybe I want to do the opposite. Well, that way, we're not disturbing each other. I like to get up and paint sometimes in the middle of the night. So I'm going to have, actually, my art studio in... I'm going to have the master bedroom, and I'm going to have the art studio at, and part of, of the master bedroom, and then, you know, my bedroom and stuff. And um, I think that'll work out really nice for us. Um, when and, when huh? you have a moment, I'd like to throw something out about shopping. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Okay. There was a, a stat. Back on to the shopping. <laughs> okay. There is a stat that changed um, in the last few years. But when I was uh, running the liquor store um, in the early 2000s, one of the stats was that approximately 88% of all retail sales were impulse sales mm -hmm. when people go into a store. Mm -hmm. And I just read, re I just read on, uh, I just read online that now that that stat has dropped to between 51 and 68 percent, so it's dropped a little bit. But still, with um, with that big a percentage of impulse sales, if these stores, if if everybody went in and bought only what they went in for, mm -hmm. uh, so many of these stores, so many more stores would be going out of business. Oh yeah. And that is the nice thing about uh, online sales is that you don't have the, um, you don't have the impulse sales. Yeah, you don't. You know. Well, you do and you don't. It's easier and you don't have to get dressed to buy something online. That's very true. And you can do late night shopping like you, somebody is really prone to do. Yeah. I've done a lot of the shopping <laughs> late at night. <laughs> um, but, I mean, there's that. But then you do think about if you're putting a lot of stuff in the cart and then you're looking at it, you're like, really? Because, like, I may put, okay, let's say I'm going to buy a new top. I might put three or four similar tops in a cart and then I will look back at my cart online and pick out the one I really want, you know, um, and then I'm also going to look for coupons and stuff, like, you know, let's say, um, today I put in an order for, um, two items with women within, because I really love their stuff, and, but then I looked for a coupon for free shipping and stuff, but I didn't want to pay it for shipping either. You know, and this happened to be like 60% off and stuff. So, um, so there's that. Uh, but what was I talking about before that? Oh, that we are going to have separate bedrooms, um, and that's a good thing. We've had separate bedrooms before, and now in, in the ghetto trailer we had just one bedroom, which was bigger. Now, two queen beds don't really fit into the master bedroom. So I've been sleeping on just a twin, but I'd really like to go back to a queen bed, and I miss my dog sleeping with me also, even though he's like, he's right here. <laughs> Why aren't you Charlie? Charlie? Charlie, what are you doing, huh? Oh my goodness. You're still abused, aren't you? Are you abused? What? That, oh my goodness. Was that Nixie's tail? I yes, heard. it's a Nixie tail, too. <laughs> you see him? Yeah. Poor abuse, Charlie. And then there is. Let's see. Do you see the cat there? She is waiting for her dinner. She's giving Brad the stink eye. And yes, we've been putting together more shelves. You see empty boxes and stuff. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, and then 
Let's see if I can show you the Nixie. I hope you can see her. Nixie! Welcome to town, Nix! Nixie! Nixie! What are you doing? Oh, there she is. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see her or not, but, uh, yeah. That's Bye, Nixie. Pretty girl. So, let's see. What else can I tell you guys? Um, colored my hair. We're going to be working on, by the end of the month, hopefully, or so, we're going to be working on, um, getting a used car for me. So we'll have two vehicles, and I will be able to go, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting familiar and getting to know a few of the people in the art community, though sadly so much of the, the artist guild and stuff is closed. There's a little bit of it open, and I don't know if it's going to stay open, though, because of this COVID, and, um... Then the theater department is, is, I'm not sure if it's open or not. I don't think it is, but I'm going to have to double check that because I wouldn't mind. Hey, honey. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. Oh. Sorry. Girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I like doing, painting backdrops and doing some seamstress work and, and that kind of stuff, so... I mean, I want to get to know some people and be able to go places and that kind of stuff. Um, and I don't want it to always be that, I mean, Brad isn't going to want to always go the same places I do. And I think it's healthy to have your own interest. And, you know, he's got some interest that I don't have any interest in. And um, But then it gives you something to talk about at night, and, you know, when you come back together and stuff. I feel like I've kind of lost my identity as a person. I lost that when I stopped going to school. When you stop going to school or becoming involved in anything outside of your home and um, or working, you kind of lose your identity. Don't you kind of feel that way with you, honey? Yeah. Now that you don't work and stuff, that you yeah. kind of, I mean... It's, it's like, especially moving to a new place, we don't know, we know our neighbors, but that's all we really know. Yeah. And so, you know, I don't know if there's some volunteering, that, you know, and different things that you might want to do or, you know, I'm sure you'll know it when you see it. Yeah. Whatever's the right fit for you. But, um, yeah, I want to, I want to make some friends and I want to, um, you know, have something to look forward to, especially now that I will admit for years and years, my interest used to be food and eating, and, and there's nothing wrong with it if that's your thing, but being a diabetic it really limits, I see, I love to bake, but it really limits, and even though I bake you know, you can't bake really sugar for you can, but it doesn't rise the same. You've got to have some sugar to make stuff even rise, and uh, especially if you're baking any kind of breads and stuff. But you're still the carbs and stuff. So I only can bake so much, and I don't want that to be the focus. Um, I have to really pay close attention to my diabetes. And Brad has to pay close attention to his. And we help each other out with that. And we'll remind each other. It's like he wants to forget every single morning to take his insulin. And I want to forget every single night to forget my insulin. I don't think I'd ever remember. But he always remembers. And I always remember in the morning or try to. So, um, you know. There's that. And just think, if I get more involved with stuff, I have more to share with you guys. And I'm sure that would be nice for you guys. I, I know some of you must be pretty bored with that. Um, you know, or maybe I'll volunteer at a homeless shelter or something. Um, you know, I'm going to look into some of that because I have all those hats. And, you know, and then, you know, things are really, really tough. 
out there in the world today and a lot of people are really struggling and can really even use just a friendly face and um you know we all have to come together i gotta show you guys though this is way off the subject but first let me show you my husband's lovely poop mouse we have a couple we lost all of our mice okay we are we are we are mice list well, okay, I have one cordless mouse. Brad has this cordless mouse. But we lost the other one, so I ordered a couple inexpensive ones, um, you know. And then we been ordering just a... My son-in-law, I'll tell you this in a minute, but my son-in-law, I need to get him. He's going to be my son-in-law. I just call him my son-in-law. Half the time I just call him my son, okay? Um, but anyway... So I've been getting him, we've been talking about and getting him Christmas gifts and stuff. His, his mother just recently passed away, um, Labor Day. And, um, so he's been back there. I want to show you guys these. These are vomiting, <laughs> vomiting eggs. And I bought them for everybody stocking, okay? So, I've already put, it's a slime thing in here, right? Now, what? Okay, I gotta put this down so you guys can see it. Okay, you guys ready for this? Wait, I gotta, sh you gotta shake it down there, right? Did you guys see that? Okay, now watch, so. Now he's gonna suck it back up, I hope. Come on, little dude. There we go. He's starting to... Do you guys hear that? Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, it don't take much to entertain me, okay? But, yeah. So, you shake it down and... Look, wait, oh. Isn't that something? So, anyway, we've been playing with them, okay? There's a whole bunch came in them. So, but I'm not putting those in... Everybody's talking. I have what I got was, let me show you. I just got these, um, I think it was like $13 for 12 of these. And they're just your regular felt stocking. And so, because there's my daughter, the two grandkids, and um, my son-in-law. And then... My adopted granddaughter, Miss Yami. I love her. Anyway, these are the stockings. I'm just going to put their names on them, and they're just felt. And that way I can fill them and take them with. They can take them with them, and I don't have to worry about And why a dozen, you say? Well, I'll have some for next year. Usually I'll buy these, and um, then... You know, I don't have to worry about it. Next year comes along and uh, I can get new ones and uh, fill them. I love doing stockings. I don't know why. I just, I'll buy things like um, body wash. And I'll buy like the full sizes. And perfume sets. Uh, you know, makeup sets for the young ladies. Um, of course, you know, like little multi-tools and that kind of stuff. For the guys, I'll buy some cologne sets, body wash for the guys as well, poofers for everybody, um, candy, some candy. I don't buy near as much candy as I used to. I always buy candy cane filled with like m and uh, for everybody, and then some flavor candy cane. This year, I think we picked out blue raspberry, and I picked out green apple. You're an angel. And, um, so that, I don't think she can get up there, sweetie. Okay. You've got that coffee, well, she's right there. Yeah. She's got, you've got that coffee thing, though, right there on the back, right behind the ice maker. There's no way she can get past okay. <clears throat> Go ahead, Angel. Go ahead, Miss Kitty Kitty. Yeah, because she can't, she evidently can't jump from behind you. She can't go past that. Oh, okay, I see what's yeah. going on. We had a couple Christmas presents come in. 
Okay, this is the, the whole whole specifics, and um, I'm sure you ladies tell me you you do this too, and we've done this forever. Is um, I basically pick out my own Christmas presents because it's easier, and that way I get exactly what I want, and that way he doesn't have to fight the crowds, right, hon? Uh huh. And we just been doing it for that long, for so long, and, and I do normally know what I want. Um, I'll even start holding back about three months until Christmas. Not picking up as many things, honey, uh -huh. that I normally would just get myself if I wanted something. Because I know that Christmas is coming and he'll be asking about, you know, things like, um, uh, it was a cold brew coffee pitcher. And it's got the filter within it. Well, I don't have one. <clears throat> I got one from my daughter as a thank you. Um, but I don't have one, so that's one of the things. Um, but I tell you guys, I got to show you this, too. This. I told you guys I got this mop, right? I absolutely love that old Cedar Pro Mist Max mop. This is just a refill head and then you just take these off and you just throw them in the wash and um, yeah. So I got two of the refill ones um, but it probably has about double the width on the head alone as the Swiffer wet jet and it sprays nicer. There's no batteries or anything so it's just you know, your normal trigger and it, I bought some of the Pledge Multi-Surface Cleaner. And you only use two tablespoons of whatever kind of cleaner you want. And that, see, the water tank comes off and you fill it. You put two tablespoons of whatever cleaner you want and then water. And then you put it back on there. Um, and, oh, it was nice. And the floor wasn't, like, super wet. So I didn't have to worry about either of us falling. Um... You know, it was really nice. It was really nice. I really love that. I probably, I have investigated lots of different mops over the years. And that's probably my all-time favorite. Look how tired I look today. I look tired, tired, tired. I am, though. Um, I did sleep better last night. <clears throat> I go through spurts where I sleep really well and then I don't. Um, that's part of the bipolar and have you ever figured that out yet that sometimes that's why everything, the, you know, that nothing in my world is right? Mm -hmm. And then while I'm, sometimes why I'm exceptionally happy? Yeah. Have you figured that out? I did. Okay. And then, like last night? Yeah. <clears throat> last night was one of those nights where... Um, you sucked? I did. Yeah. But last night was one of those nights where you were kept falling asleep and uh you know i use the same tone um <laughs> every night when i suggest to you that you need to uh lay down and some nights you're just oh i'm sorry you know and other nights it's like uh, don't tell me what to do yeah you suck don't tell me what to do i so, i remember telling you that last night i remember yeah. going don't tell me what to do yeah I was feeling feisty because, see, I did my hair last night, so I was feeling feisty. I had to match the attitude with the hair. Okay? Yep. But, yeah, last night you were not, uh, you were uh, a little bit on the angry side. Easy there. I, You know what? I, yes. Yeah. Don't make me have to hurt you. No, that is... Not on my playlist. My hair used to be about this color, a little bit more, a little lighter, and a little more uh, copper tone when I was a kid. Hence why the freckles, right? Anyway, okay, so this is what we're going to talk about now is COVID. And I know somebody said you're not supposed to say that or else YouTube will take down your video. Well, then do it. But, you know, it's all a big joke and everybody thinks it's a big conspiracy until it happens to you. Until it happens to somebody you know. 
and more and more people we know are coming down with this and more and more people that we know are dying being sick or dying and now I know quite a few people that have come down with it and um, now my son-in-law does not get to come home he was gonna leave Monday he was gonna get their stuff out of storage there as in my daughter's and his stuff out of storage and drive home from Wyoming to here to Wilson she lives in Wilson area. And be home in time for Thanksgiving. Or just in time. In fact, we were discussing on whether or not we were going to do turkey sandwiches or, or, or what we were going to do. But one of his co-workers' daughter came down. Tested positive, right? Yeah. Tested positive. And so now... My son-in-law does not get to come home because, you know, now he's got a quarantine for two weeks. And so it's not a joke at all, guys. I mean, then and my daughter and, and the kids and stuff were so looking forward. And, you know, the sad thing is, is that my son-in-law, his kids are there. He didn't get spend Thanksgiving with them because... He got a quarantine away from them, you know, and uh, so yeah. What's this? Let's see. I messed this all up. There. Perfect, right? Let's see. Oh well. I need to cut my bangs again. They're starting to drive me nuts. I don't like it when they're in my face. Um, yeah, look. <laughs> I think I got like a little silver or something maybe I'm not sure maybe not let's see I guess it's just the way the lights hitting it huh anyway um so yeah he doesn't get to come home now not for two weeks <clears throat> which stinks but you know it is what it is and then being that it's Wyoming and those states in that up in that area it can be kind of dicey traveling this time of year, so oh. gonna have to be very careful with that. Give me another reason to worry, you know. So we have put in a small order to be delivered tomorrow, trying to basically beat the Thanksgiving rush. There were a few things we still needed, and um, I had forgotten like to get pizza crust and stuff. We always have pizza usually on Saturday nights, and um, I had just a tiny bit of Christmas shopping I needed to finish for my son-in-law. So, you know, and I guess if he doesn't make it back by Christmas for some reason, then he'll just have to open it when he gets here. Yeah. You know, um, but I want him to have a nice Christmas because his mom just passed away. You know, and it's, so it'll be his first Christmas without his mom. It'll be his first Christmas. You know, his kids will be there and he'll be here. And I don't think they're probably going to be able to come out this Christmas. I don't know. Um, so, you know, that's going to be a rough one. You know, I just want everybody to have a nice Christmas because... We know what it's like. If you guys have been watching us for a number of years, you know that we've spent many holidays alone. And that's been really hard. I mean, we we got used to it after a while. But it was hard. I think the hardest Christmas we ever had is the Christmas right before we moved to Florida. We decided we weren't doing Christmas at all. We weren't buying any gifts for ourselves, not even stocking stuffers. So we did not have, I don't even think we put a tree up that year. No, huh? we didn't. And we just had nothing. And it was right after that, right after that Christmas, and you were still working, He that you took me up to Walmart a week after that and said, we're getting a few Christmas items or yeah. a few Christmas gifts because it did really stink. So. Well, you know, even, I mean, 
way we both looked at it is we came to realize that even though it was just the two of us, we could still have a very nice Christmas well, just care. the two of us. Care. You know? You know. You do. You have you have a nice Christmas and uh, you know, you enjoy it, right, Charlie? Charlie, what are you doing? Did you just eat dad just fed you your chicken and rice? And that's why he comes over there and starts wiping his, his face, face on the furniture. Mm -hmm. Right, Charlie? Because he wants to be a pretty girl. Are you a pretty girl, Charlie? He had been a love bug lately. He got, you guys just see I'm sitting on the couch now. Because, okay, the whole thing is I wanted my dogs to cuddle up with me and I was sitting in the recliner and stuff. And, um, uh, so he climbs up right behind my back. He's using my butt like a shelf for his head. And he has the rest of the couch. He didn't have to, but, and yeah, I know my hair looks a little cray cray because I haven't blow, blown it dry or curled it. I don't even know where that stuff lives yet. <laughs> I still got to put my, I got to put, we have to put my makeup desk together. We have to put the L-shaped desk together. We still have to get the safety rail. We're still going to share a bathroom because it's just safer and and not near as expensive, you know, for, you know, because like for all the safety equipment, um, you know, and um, so... We still have to get the safety rails and the towel racks installed and the curved um, shower curtain rod. Um, I don't know, but we're getting there. Yeah. Every week is looking a little bit more. Of course, we're not getting done near as, as I, I mean, not near as fast as I thought I would, you know. Fast and me, we're no longer friends. You know what, Brad? Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, Fast and me, we, 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 we are not friends. You know? Well, I can still throw down. Yeah, you can. I can still huck some boxes and move some stuff. And and then I sit there the rest of the night like this. Literally last night, both of my arms and stuff were like this. What did we move yesterday? Oh, I unpacked some boxes. Those boxes here in the kitchen. Yeah. But literally, because I have such bad arthritis in my, especially my arms and my shoulders. So I'm just sitting here like this. And so then today I've been kind of uh, not have done too much because, first of all, I'm having some trouble breathing and um, very, very swollen. And then the arthritis. But it's not as bad as I thought it. We just make the best of it, right, guys? Right. So, still working on diamond painting. Um, still working on... Um, got some luminating going on in back. Um, so, that's good. And... Just going to be tomorrow cleaning house. We're going to set up the front room a little bit better. We're getting the kitchen really well done. And, um, yeah. Right, hon? Right, baby. So, um, anyway, you guys, please stay safe out there. I know everybody's sick and tired of wearing masks. I, we are. Everybody is. But, it's not a joke. It's not a hoax. It's very serious. I mean, this is round two that we all thought maybe we weren't going to have. We expected this about two months prior, right? And now it's really coming about. Um, you know, so be careful out there, guys. It's not worth whatever you want to attend to is not worth you dying over. Well, you're seeing more and more in the media on, on uh, celebrities. Yeah. That are passing away because yeah. of COVID. Yeah. Which is very sad. So, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, remember, I love you guys. And, um, 
cherish your friendship so very much. And I think you guys are awesome. And say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.